it's high time we gotta wake up we, we sleep we dead right now we got to wake up and come back to life but it's only one thing that's gonna bring us back to life and that's this bible right here you got it yes sir bring it up this is the book of romans chapter 13 and verse 11 uh -huh. and that knowing the time knowing the time we know the time the men that you see here standing with fringes in a border of blue beards on their faces Right. Standing out here on the Sabbath day, not buying or selling. That's right. We ain't smoking weed no more. Right. We ain't on the block. We ain't hustling no more. We ain't fornicating with women no more. That's right. Go ahead, bring that up. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's what? To awake out of sleep. Hey, brother, you got to repent from your sins, though. Hey, what you talking about? You got to repent from your sins. Hey, 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 pull that thing off your face so we can hear what you're saying. You ain't saying nothing, brother. Take that thing off your mouth and speak like a man. That's right. Yeah, you ain't speaking like a man if you're walking away from me talking. That's right. What's my position? What's my? I'm going to show you who a boy and who a real man That's is. Right. Give me 1st Kings. There you, go. There you, go. you don't, you don't know what a boy Bring is. Bring it out. You don't know what a boy is. You don't know what a boy is. You dress like that. That's because you're still a boy. You haven't stepped into manhood That's yet. That's right. Bring this up. Bring it this out, This is the book of 1st Kings, chapter 2 and verse 1. We're going to show you the difference between a boy and a man. Read. Now the days of David drew nigh uh -huh. that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, stand still and get this verse real quick. Read. I go the way of all the earth. Uh -huh. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. The Bible says show yourself a man. You need to show yourself a man. Oh, you, you're doing childish things right now. Keep reading. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. So the Bible say you a little boy if you're not keeping the charge of the Most High God. Right. That's right. Whatever that is, that's an idol right there. We're going to deal with that too. Read. That's right. Yeah, we're going to deal with that spirit. Right? To walk that's in his spirit. ways. Uh -huh. To keep his statutes and his commandments. And his judgments. That's right. And his testimonies right. as it is written in the law of Moses. That's right. The Bible says to be a real man, you got to keep the laws of Moses. That's right. You got to keep the charge of the Lord. Give me Romans 13. I put away childish things. When I was a child, I thought as a child. I ran around and I said a whole bunch of stuff that didn't matter. Give me Romans chapter 13. You got that? Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. Uh -huh. When I was a child. When I was a boy like you, but I'm not no more. Read. I spake as a child. You speaking like a child right now. I can't even understand. My, my, my five-year-old and two-year-old children speak more clearer than you. Right. But we're going to speak clarity out of this book right here. Lord willing, you repent. That's right. Read. I understood uh -huh. as a child. You got no understanding when you're a child. You got to be taught. Read. I thought as a child, uh -huh. but when I became a man. When I became a what? A man. Uh -huh. I put away childish things. So, brother, you got to put away the childish things, the idols, the buying and selling on the Sabbath. You got to put those things away. Give me Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. I don't know what that is, a little genie bottle or whatever that is, but that's a teacher of lies right there. Yes. That's teaching you all kind of lies. And you scattering the flock now. Yep. This is the last scripture I'm going to give him. We're going back to the edification. That's right. Read. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. Uh -huh. What profit if the graven image that you see right there, that's a graven image, man. Whatever you're doing with your hand right there, it don't profit nothing. Read. What's that the maker the thereof have graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of lies. Everything you're teaching is lies right now. That little thing you're doing with your hand, you're teaching lies. Hey, bro, st stop and listen to us real quick, bro. Check this out. This is the bread of life right here. That little that little genie bottle you got right there, that's a teacher of lies. Ain't nothing in that book right there either. Give, give me Isaiah 34, 16. Bring it out. You can't make that book with this book right here, though. Ain't no prophecy in that book. That's right. That book ain't teaching you your true nationality. It ain't teaching you no repentance either. That's you right. got that? The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So that book you got right there ain't going to do you no good. That ain't the book that you got to read from. This book right here is going to teach you that you're an Israelite. That's right. That you're a son of God. That's right. What you got to do to inherit everlasting life. That's right. Read. 
No one of these shall fail. Uh -huh. None shall want her mate. The Bible says nothing inside this book will ever fail. And none shall want her mate. That little rainbow comic book that you got over there ain't got nothing on this book. Right That's, That's right. right. Read. For my mouth it hath commanded, uh -huh. and his spirit it hath gathered them. Uh -huh. All right, give me, give me Matthew chapter 4, verse 17 again. Hey, stop disrespecting the police officers, man. That's right. The only reason they out here is because people like you acting up. That's right. Give me uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 1. That's right. Give me Romans 13 and 1. Bring it out. We got no no issue, no quarrel with the police officers. That's right. Bring it out. We got an issue with the sins of our people. That's, That's right. right. Stop selling the drugs. Stop killing your own people. Right. Stop having sex with a bunch of women and not taking care of the children. Right. Hey. Give me Romans 13. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 1. Bring it out. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. That's what we out here teaching. We out here teaching to try to make this brother's job a little bit easier. That's right. How grievous is it for this brother to have to come out and deal with his own people in this type of a That's state? That's right. Read. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, uh -huh. for there is no power but of God. So if you get judged by a police officer, guess what? You're getting judged by the Most High God. That's, That's right. right. Read. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever, therefore, resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So we're going to give you some of the, the ordinances of God that you're not supposed to be resisting. Go to Exodus chapter 20. Some basic commandments that if our people were keeping, these police officers wouldn't have to come out here and treat you like children. Right. Right. Exodus chapter 20, start at verse 1. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. Right I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of of bondage. The Lord brought you out of the house of bondage and you put yourself right back in it. Because you wanted to break God's commandments. That's right. Get yourself together. Repent from your sins, Israel. Come back to the Lord. Read. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So that cross on your neck, that genie bottle, I, I get that Mustang to run over that little genie bottle, oh, man. Right. Hey, go ahead, back up. Run over that little genie bottle for me. <laughs> All right. Read. Thou shalt not Make unto thee any graven image. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not make any saying? graven image." And hey, get that, get that graven cameraman near mine. Yeah. Get that graven image on the camera, yes, man. Yes, sir. See that this foolishness that our people are in the midst of. Coming up against your own brothers, coming up here to curse us out. All we trying to do is to get get our people off of drugs. Right. To get you out of the civil court, having to go to uh, the judge for matters between you and your uh, your so-called baby mother that should be your wife. Right. No other gods before me, read. Or any likeness of anything huh? that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down by the truth, nor serve it. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments so the lord has been visiting us for multiple generations our sins have 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 been visited to us in our in the form of our judgments we broke god's commandments and we and he came back and visited us with his judgments the, right. the, the slave trade we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.